So sometimes um, we want a function to do a calculation or determine some value and actually send information back to main. And the way we do that is through uh, changing the return type and then returning a value. So our functions right now on the screen here is marked void, which means that no information is being returned anywhere. And all I need to do to change that is change this word to one of our other data types. So let's say I have this function. I'm going to not make it too complicated. It did some stuff, whatever. And at the end, I need it to return a value. So let's just return the value 10. Um, so 10 written like this is an integer. So what I'll do is change the return type here to int. Okay. And then down in main, I can call my function. Now, if I call it loose like this, um, it'll jump up here. It'll execute whatever's inside this. This value will be returned, which will throw it back down here to main. And if I don't take any action, then basically nothing happens. I kind of wasted my time. So if I compile this, it should run with no trouble. But if I don't do something with the value, then the value is basically just trashed. So it's like I returned it, and I just dropped the ball, and I didn't do anything with it. So I have some options. Um, the first one is that I can print it out. So if I see out what the function sends back, then I will see it on the screen. So there's my 10 that came back from my function. The second option is I can make a variable that has uh, the results stored in it. Oops, let me, let me actually print it out so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so here it is running, and my function got called, and then the result was stored inside the variable result, and I print that out. Um, just to prove to you that you have to do this assignment. Um, so if I had this accidentally on two different lines and I didn't think about having to, to store the value that gets returned, the result should have some garbage in it. In fact, look, it won't even run um, because this has garbage in it. Okay, so option two is stored in a variable. And then option three is that I can use this in some kind of conditional immediately. So that could be an if statement. So I could be like, if this guy gives me a 10, then say you got a 10, uh, else uh, you didn't clean this up. No, this guy down. All right. So if I call this in a little statement like that, uh, then it will evaluate whatever the function sends back and tells me you got a 10 just for the sake of proving to you that it works. Let's change this to 11. Oops. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's change this to 11 and run it again. And it will say you didn't because you didn't get a 10 back that time. So um, that could be an if statement. You could have this be a while statement or you could use this at the end of a do while loop. But in any event, you have to do something with it or you basically wasted your time. Um, so here's a little summary uh, like animation uh, to show you that. So if you call a function but you don't do anything with the value it returns, then all you did was waste the computer's time by making it run that function for no reason. So here's a little kind of picture to help illustrate that. So here I've got a function called, but I don't do anything to return it. So the function throws the value back down the return, but there it just falls into the trash. I can ret print the return value immediately, and then it goes and shows up on the console. I can store it in a variable, and so it comes back to main and gets slotted into a variable. Or I can evaluate it in an if statement or a loop immediately and take some action based on the value. But if I don't do one of those three things, then I basically wasted my time. Um, so you have to remember that when you have a return type that is not void, you must take some action back in main to handle the value that was returned.